Miami market update September 2024. Today, we're diving deep into what's really happening in Miami's population and housing market trends. It's a big hint, it's not what you think. We'll also look at how recent interest rate cuts and some possible loan limit changes could affect you. Stick around, especially if you're buying or selling, because I've got some crucial data that could impact your next big move. Let's get into it. Wait. Miami shrinking? Believe it or not, Miami-Dade County has been losing people. Yes, losing. While wealthy folks are moving in, we've actually seen a lot of net loss of 15,000 residents since 2020. Over 134,000 middle-class residents have packed their bags and left, mostly looking for more affordable places to live. But wait, the state of Florida as a whole is still absolutely booming. Florida crossed the 23 million population mark this year, adding around 350,000 to 360. 75,000 new residents annually. But Miami isn't feeling that low. Housing prices are still rising. Let's talk about the prices. Miami housing market is still heating up with the median sale price for a single family home that is now $640,000. That's up 9.1% from the same time last year. But here's a twist. Homes are sitting on the market for longer and it's about around 89 days. So if you're a buyer, you might have a little more time to negotiate. Sellers, Take a note of this. Now, the big question, where are all those people moving to? Turns out, Cape Coral is the top destination for Miami residents, followed by Orlando and Jacksonville. People are looking for more affordable living with great amenities. Cape Coral especially is booming thanks to the waterfront properties. Miami's loss might be Cape Coral's gains. Now here's the thing, in mid-September, the feds cut their rates by half a point and more cuts are expected to come through 2025. This means big things for buyers because mortgage rates have already dropped by 150 basis points from earlier in the year. If you got a $2,500 monthly budget, your buying power just went up by $50,000. That's huge. And guess what? There's rumors that Fannie Mae loan limits might increase. Lenders are gearing up for property prices to keep rising. So if you're in the market, now might be your time to act. Here on the screen, we're going to put both the FHA and conventional loan limits for 2024. If you have any questions or want me to go over this, leave me a question and I'll definitely answer it for you. So buyers, here's what you need to know. The meeting sales price is now at $640,000. So yes, expect prices to keep climbing, especially with those rates cuts. Homes are staying in the market for longer, about 27 days on average. So you might have more wiggle room to negotiate. Only 21.6% of sales were paid in cash, a drop from 23%. That means less competition from investors. The market is opening up with a 36.6 increase in listings and over 4,183 homes on the market. We're still in a seller's market with 4.7 months of supply yet we're creeping towards balance. So there's more options for you to choose from. This is for my sellers, the listing price to sales price. Sellers are getting around 96.8% of the original list price, which is slightly down from last year. And if you're looking to sell, price it right. And it's gonna move quickly. We saw 964 closed sales in August, and we're talking about single family homes, which is 2.1% lower than we saw last year. Meaning the market is cooling down off a bit, but if you price your home correctly, the demand is still strong. High-end homes. Selling a luxury home, the average sale price is still 1,042,133. The high-end market is holding strong, even if there are some slowdowns overall. More inventory, more competition. There's been a substantial 36.6% increase in inventory meaning more competition for sellers. This also signals a market shift towards balance. The average time from listing to closing is now 70 days, a bit longer than before. So if you're selling, be patient and work with professionals to get it done. So what does all of this mean for you? Whether you're buying or you're selling in Miami or thinking about making a move to a growing city like Cape Coral, Understanding these trends is crucial. The combination of rising prices, interest rate cuts, and the potential of changes in loan limits could make or break your next move in real estate. If you want to stay ahead of the game, don't forget to like this video, hit the subscribe button, and leave your questions in the comment below. I'm Gustavo Pacheco, your trusted real estate expert, and I'm here to guide you through every step of the process. See you in the next one. Thank you for watching.